The, wait, what? The dessert kitchen? What did that say? What? I want to know what it said. Oh, the deserted kitchen. Okay. The other humans have cleared out. You gotta get in there and help your friend finish this meal, and we're gonna help. The last thing we want is to lose this restaurant and its wonderful food supply. When it comes to cooking, I'm always ready. That human's still here, and he's completely mad. You're gonna have to find a way to get him out of here. How about the bathroom? Okay, Dad, don't worry. I can handle this. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I'm helping Linguini. He told me to help Linguini, right? What am I... What am I doing? Oh, poor Linguini. The other chefs seem to have left him to complete their dinner rush alone. But one chef's crisis may be another chef's opportunity. You must help him, Remy. Are you ready? Why the fuck are they leaving him to do the... What? <laughs> why? Oh, I think... Oh, I think I know why. I'm trying to remember. I'm literally trying to remember. I think this is actually a part that happens in the movie. Like, he gets fame and recognition for uh, Remy helping him out, right? But he takes, like, all the credit, and I think all the chefs kind of walk out. But I think that's after uh, Skinner gets, like, fired, right? Look at that fucking lobster. He's blotting on my downfall. Ow! Oh my god. I'm almost dead. Oh, Poor shrimp, you're dead now. You're gonna be eaten and cooked. You're gonna be eaten, then you're gonna be cooked. In that exact order. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Hey, Remy, I'm here to do my thing with the rope. You need me to... You need a rope? I gotcha. We gotta get rid of that human. Okay, but how? Hey, lower him into the closet. Once he's there, we'll lock him up. And then I get to put the rope around the doorknob, yeah? Get to do my thing with the rope. I'm really good at the rope. Not all humans dislike us, Git. But this one does. Oh my god, his name is Git. <laughs> Just such a fucking hood rat name. <laughs> you know they're talking about me. It's me, Get Giddies. I'm out here to, you know, do my rope thing. All right, well, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna have to walk over here. <laughs> Cause he's not moving. I want my cheese. Fuck you. Ow. Look at that fucking airtime I get. Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Is this cornstarch? Yeah, the sticky noise it makes, it bothers me. Oh, I'm, I'm heading this way. Wait, where the fuck am I going? I'm going up there, but how am I doing that? Is there like a... Is there like a can I can use? As a pedestal? I need a spoon for that. I don't see any spoons in my vicinity. Vicinity. Mm-hmm. There's gotta be a spoon around here, right? Where the fuck is the spoon? Oh, here's a can. Excuse me, I need this. Alright, I guess uh, I'll use it here. Yeah, there we go. What do you want, pasta? Oh, what? Ah! What the hell did the lobster throw at me? He threw me into the little shrimps and he said, Get him, my children. You piece of shit. So now you're gonna die. Where's my... Where's my hidey thing? I don't... I don't have it no more. You fucked me over. Oh. 
I was just standing in its way. Oh my god. Hey, lobster. Why are you so against me? Oh, you know what? I probably cooked a bunch of your kind already. I'm sorry. The lobsters. Nature's... Nature's de facto apex predator. Even... Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Even when its claws are tied up, it still possesses a danger to our hero. Can you go somewhere? Move. I need you out of my way. Go. Get out of here. God, he's just gonna be there all day, isn't he? I need to go that way. Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, I do need to go that way. Get the fuck out the way, man. Why did I knock over the plates, by the way? Did that give me a shortcut? What was the point of me knocking over the plates? Oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, he won't move. What's the point of me knocking over the plates? Oh, the point of me knocking over the plates is get his fucking attention so we can get into the closet. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need this. I'm gonna take this. Uh, I'm just gonna... Will he see me? He'll probably see me. Maybe? Maybe he'll see me. Nope. Uh, no, 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 don't worry about it. Shit. Couldn't be simple, could it? Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna take my can and I'm gonna go- Oh, there's another can over here, you son of a bitch. I guess I'm heading up here? Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is not how I'm supposed to do it, but, uh... I'm probably supposed to do it some other way, but fuck it. Sequence break. Watch out, Linguini. So where we go now? Over here. So what, I just turn that on? Oh. Uh, I need a can. But first, I'm gonna grab this hot sauce. Right here. Here you go, man. Well, since I used the can, the other can over there, I'm gonna grab this. What is this? What is this fucking can that I'm carrying? Delicious. What does that say? Deli Crux? I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. It might be French. It might be French or it might be stupid. I can't tell. There's, I can't tell the difference. You know what I mean? All right. Just uh, there we go. Imagine getting locked in a room by a couple of fucking rats. <laughs> Thanks, Git. Linguini! I'm here to help, my guy. Ow! Fuck! Where am I going? Am I not helping Linguini right now? Oh, shit, I guess I'm not. Well, now, the only other chef I have to worry about is her, right? I forgot what her name was, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember. You need to get rid of them. Use a spoon and swing at the traps or lure an enemy into them. All right, I'm on it. The enemy's a shrimp inside of a bag? <laughs> it's so sad. Oh my god, never mind. You're super fast. Jesus, fuck. Over here, my guy. Ah! 
got Wombo comboed. Come on. There we go. Easy as pie. Uh, where's the next rat trap? Where'd you go, Shrimpy? Come here. Come here. There we go. I need you over here. Ow, fuck. I never knew being a chef could be so complicated or dangerous. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that's all that. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck. Where's Rat Trap? Is it over here? Well, you can't come up here, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, here it is. This way, shrimp. Oh. Where? Where the shrimp? Oh! Oh, my God. Out here using instant transmission and shit. What the fuck? There's too many of you. Jesus. Made it by a whisker. Ow. Ow. Where's the last trap? Smell a meter, help me. I keep calling it a smell meter Meanwhile, it's not an actual meter. It's smell a vision. Why is it telling me to go up there? Isn't that like an optional fucking level? Yeah, it is. What is that? Oh. Is it telling me to get the spoon? Oh. There's a rat trap up here. You son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Easy as pie. Ah, oh, damn it. Out the way. She needs Gusteau's recipe book. Get it out of the office and get it back to her. Okay, I'm on my way. All right, sounds simple enough. Couldn't be simple, could it? All right, Remy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it sounds simple enough. It couldn't be simple, could it? <laughs> I'm like, all right, Remy. I need that fucking sea urchin out of my way. Jesus! All right, man. Fucking chill out. You need to find me a spoon. The shrimp is really like out to get me. Oh god, there's a fucking. <laughs> How do I put this down? There's a goddamn lobster in the way. Now I need hot sauce. Hot sauce. Over here. Oh my god, it just it it just never stops. I talked about how the goddamn lobster was the apex predator. There's fucking shrimps out here. So there's two of them. Being a chef could be so complicated. Don't you? All right. Well, now you're gonna die. I told you not to. You didn't listen to me. But you're like, it's mine. I want it. You can't have. Oh God. You're immune to that. more shrimps. They just keep coming. Thank you. They just keep coming. Yeah. 
There you go. Fucking hell. Haha! Oh shit. All right. <laughs> I went, no, I don't want to go down there. And then the game said, no, 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 you're going down there. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, there was a spoon that I need to bring over. All right. Well, that was that was nice. Wait, can am I killing all the bugs to bring the spoon over? Or does this this kills all the bugs for me? Oh, I guess I'm killing all the bugs. Oh, well, all the bugs are dead now. Oh wait, there's one. There's one left. There's always the one, right? I can make it past it, though. Uh, come on, camera, help me out, man. There you go. Urchin's always in my way. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, that's what I need the can for. I was like looking up there. I was like, why that can? I was like, why is that can up there? I need to get the can so I can use it to get up there. I got a fuse. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to be doing that. Wait, then how the fuck do I get the can? You know what? Maybe I don't need the can. <laughs> hmm. Can I climb up there? Can I climb up this? No? Maybe I do need the can. <laughs> I would assume I'll use the can to help me get up here, yeah? Or could I make the jump? Yeah! No. Alright, cool. Yeah, I need that can. I need that can, but how the fuck do I get to it? Is there like a... That just looks like a fall. Trying to see if there's like another way up there. I got up there, picked up that. Can I just like, oh, I can just jump over. I think I can just jump over from that point, right? I was looking at it, I was like, can I even make that? It's a little high. Alright. Oh, no! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought, oh, wow! <laughs> I thought that was going straight in the hole. Alright. Here now. I really hope I'm going the right way because now I'm just jumping without thinking about it. 
Oh no, yeah, and there's... Okay, hold up. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Gusto, where's your recipe book? Where the hell am I going? I'm going up there, around... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going up there. Oh, I didn't see this. Idiot. Don't you fucking judge me, Gusto. You died after you got one fucking complaint. One piece of criticism. Ah, there's this book. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're at the point in the movie where she knows that the rats are helping. <laughs> Made it by whisker. All right, well, just gotta get up there. Really don't. Okay, here we go. I was confused for a moment. I was like, I really don't know how. I need a spoon. Is the spoon I use still over here? No, it's gone. All right, well, shit. Is it still over here? Can I grab the one over here? Oh! Fucking bug. You leave the one bug alive because you're like, I feel sorry for you and your kind. My condolences. And then they fucking take advantage. That's why you gotta kill every last one of these little bastards. Wow, that, wow. Way to, way to sound like a Nazi, me. <laughs> Where's a spoon? I need one. Or can I just jump up here? Hold up. No, I need the spoon. I need the spoon to jump up there. Damn it. There's gotta be a spoon Some. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. No, that's a spatula. There's cheese. Where the fuck is a spoon? Damn it. Rat tail won't kill it. Please tell me there's a spoon up here. Nope, just some cheese. Ah, oh, there's a spoon. I'm gonna fucking kill you, sons of bitches. Come here. I knew you was gonna do it the moment I moved. I sensed it. I sensed it in the force. Oh, you're not gonna take my spoon? Oh yeah. Really? Really? Do you at least, like, get knocked out or something? I need your help. Got it handled, Maestro. Mmm, you son of a bitch. Alright, well, you can go over there with that. Right. Thank you. And then, uh, I need a can. Jesus. Didn't I just see a can? I did, yeah, there's one all the way over here. Between me and the army of shrimps. My bad, I'm sorry, I'm saying, I'm calling them by the wrong name. The army of scrimps. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you live in the ghetto as long as I have, you fucking, you hear scrimp. <laughs> you know, give me some of them scrimps. Oh, you son of a bitch, I fucking hate you. Ah, 
I knew it. I was just waiting. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to ruin my day. You know? I don't see the... Oh, there's the crab. I was like, I don't see the crab. Oh, there it is. Here you go, buddy. You're just going... Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Okay. There's got to be a fucking shortcut. No? All right. Never mind. I'm just going to make you have that for a moment. Because I already feel it in my bones that you're going to be a pain in the ass. I think I've got this height thing under control, no problem. All right. We need to do our best to help save the rest of Oh, never mind. She knows that we're here. Only that critic just told us he is waiting. Oh, so this is the part of the movie where we make the fucking ratatouille. Oh shit. Oops. Bump, bump, bump. Oops. Out here mixing fucking miracle potions. Oops. This one I really gotta like focus on for some fucking reason. I don't know what it is in my brain right now that's just like focus on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, what what did I mean? Oh. I pressed the button, hello? Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know why the colored thing is like... I guess it's a pattern matching and colors that fucking... are fucking me up for some reason? I don't know. Alright. Come on. You dumb rats. I know all you motherfucking rats didn't wash your hands, but that's what makes it taste great, is the sewage. You know what people say, you can taste the whole city in one bite. <laughs> That's so nasty. There you go. Oh shit, damn it. You guys are slower than fucking Linguini, holy shit. Oh fuck, why'd I do that? What the hell is wrong with me? Alright, well we fucked this one up, that's for sure. They're trying to make it faster, right? They're trying to... They're trying to help me out here. They're like, we gotta make it. Hold up, Remy. We gotta make it. Let's do it right this time. We already know the ingredients, Remy. Just gotta make sure. No. Yes. There you go. Jesus. Why did I fuck that one up so bad? I'm losing my mind out here. What are you making, pasta? Oh, this is the soup. Alright, yeah. Uh, what we got? What? Did I not press the right button? My bad. Some of those cucumbers. Or zucchini. I'm assuming it's zucchini, you know what I mean? Mushroom. <laughs> zucchini. Onions. Peppers. Now I know they're green bell peppers and people lose their fucking mind over it, but calm down guys. Sometimes you want to taste a little bit of mother nature, you know? You want to fucking graze like a cow. Please tell me that's it. <laughs> Cause I'm about, I have like no time to do this. Like, the rats move slower than fucking Linguini does.
Yeah, just slap it on there. That's how Papa Rat likes it. Just whack it with your spoons. Come on, we can go a little faster. I played Hatsune Miku. I know what I'm doing. That's a good ass looking cake. That's a really good looking cake, Jesus fuck. Man, have you seen someone like make a good looking cake like that? It takes, it takes like a day and a half. Cause there's usually always one thing they have to put in the fucking fridge for like a day. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you were fired. That's hilarious. I just saved your restaurant, you fuck. Oh, well, well, it's not his restaurant no more, actually. At this point in the movie, he was fired. Oh! Look at those wine glasses. It's fancy. Not the soup! Oh, God, thank you. As long as you didn't remove the soup. I have no idea what that red shit is. Oh! Oh, no, why am I getting stuck on it? Oh, not the soup! <laughs> you saw him belly dive on me? Jesus, fuck. Yeah, I was already low on health, so I wasn't feeling that one, I'm gonna be honest. Those, like, red dishes or whatever. <sighs> They're way too fucking big, man. Now, that one was my fault, I'm not gonna lie, because I jumped right into it. But even when I'm trying to clear it, right? They're a little too big. Oh shit. Oh what? Now that one. Now that wasn't my fault. You saw how I slid off that shit, don't you? Don't you blame that on me. My hand is slipping off the uh my thumb is slipping off the fucking the goddamn thumbstick. It's making me nervous. There we go, that's a checkpoint. Oh! Oh, come on, waiter. Are you supposed to help me out? Oh! What? <laughs> I thought I got caught for a moment. I was like, what the fuck was that? Oh, come on, my restaurant. Oh, my chandelier. What is that scream? <laughs> it's so bad. Da. Well, little chef, it looks like Gusto's is ruined. So with Gusto's closed down, the spirit of the place, the soul of great cooking, lives on at La Ratatouille. Because Linguini and I understand something that Skinner never will. It is something Gusto preached his whole life. Anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. What? <laughs> what? Wait, wait a minute. I don't remember the game abruptly ending like that. What the f <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, well, yikes. Damn. You just you just get chased and then well, I guess we're ruined. And then we lived happily ever after. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I get, you know, here's the thing. I get this was during the time of, like, a shit ton of tie-in games. And Ratatouille was actually, like, one of the few, like, last, last like, tie-in games that they were doing when they actually gave a little bit of a fuck. Right? A little bit enough to make the game good. Kind of like how, uh, Platinum... Kind of like what Platinum did with Avatar, Legend of Korra, where it's like, you really didn't get that much budget in that game, but they still tried to do as much as they could with what they had. Which, you know, it was a pretty okay game, right? 
we should have more budget because the game is pretty goddamn good. Same thing here. Uh, definitely this, like, and it was also, you know, during a time where, like, fucking, uh, I just, like, I just dropped something. It was during a time where, like, you know, you had one version of the game that was vastly different from the, from the other, right? Like I said, if you're gonna play the Ratatouille game, you gotta play the, you know, the PlayStation, GameCube, Wii, whatever versions, right? And not the fucking PS3 and 360 versions, because PS3 and 360 versions are fucking garbage. They're so fucking trash. They're so bad. And this one isn't like a masterpiece or anything, but it's definitely way more enjoyable. Right? It, it definitely has a little bit of that PS2 jank, but you can still see where there was love put into it. So, you know, it's pretty good. It's a nice game to sit down during the holiday season and just play a little bit of because it's just, it just, it's kind of one of those things where you play it and you get like a little bit of a warm feeling in your heart and you're just like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking watch the Polar Express now. And the reason I'm saying that is because I really want to watch the Polar Express. It's Christmas time now. Now it's time to actually celebrate Christmas, right? Like I said, at the time of this recording, it's been like a day since Inwalker officially came out. So it's like December 4th? December 4th. That also means, hey guys, that also means that JoJo Part 5 is out, that anime. You want to watch that Part 5 anime? Now for me, someone who has read the JoJo manga already, like fucking years, years, years ago before they even did the season one uh remake or whatever um season one did they do they didn't do uh no they didn't they never did phantom blood they did phantom blood like the new like the new anime of jojo they did phantom blood but then uh i think they started with um i'm pretty sure they just started with like an ova for didn't they do an ova for fucking no, 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 part one had an OVA. Okay, whatever. I'm sitting here talking about JoJo while I'm playing fucking Ratatouille. Anyways, um, but yeah, just saying, you know, JoJo's out there. I went to Netflix and I fucking, I looked at it and said, yo, we got 12 episodes up, my guy. You want to go watch that? And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to make some jokes right now about JoJo, but I can't because they're spoilers. But, uh, so I'm going to shut my mouth now. But, um, God, I... So, you know, there's that. It's Christmas time. Go fucking sit down with some hot cocoa somewhere and watch the Polar Express and watch Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Don't worry, though. We're definitely going to have something up on the channel for Christmas. Um, you know, since it's the holiday season, I'm going to be very busy with, like, work and shit. <laughs> with work and family and stuff like that. So, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely, uh, definitely shows on the channel when my uploads are super slow but yeah but back to ratatouille overall it's a pretty enjoyable game it's not the best it's definitely not the best you can play a billion other platformers you can play other tie-in games that are way better platformers than this but it's still pretty good it's something that i think i think if, you, if you're a fan of like disney and pixar and all that shit right i think you should have at least one look at it and play a little bit a little bit of a little bit of it started i started going back to my ghetto drawl that i have right you play a little bit of it right and just go all right this is nice this is neat but that's ratatouille right i didn't expect <laughs> i didn't expect it to really just end abruptly like that i thought there was like at least one more level or something wow it also makes me feel oh my god whoa hold up whoa Okay, never mind. I was so confused for a moment. I was like, why does everybody have the same fucking name? And it's like, oh no, they're just giving credit for the music. Oh, by the way, the music for this is actually pretty good. It's actually really good. I'm not going to sit there and say it's the best. I wouldn't put it on any top 10 list anywhere, but fucking, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty calming. Uh, they did a nice job. Chase scenes are pretty funny. My man made the grandma flip over. <laughs> All right. But, that's it for, um, that's it for Ratatouille, right? I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get this playthrough out during Thanksgiving, but, you know, it was Thanksgiving. So I was, spending, I was spending time with family and also working extra hours because of the shopping season. And I'm still going to be doing that for Christmas. But you know what? That's how the cookie crumbles, baby. And, uh, yeah, that's it. As always, 
I want to thank you guys for watching and get that shit out my face. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching and in the description below there's a link to my Twitch if you want to catch me live when I do go live. Uh, my schedule's a little iffy on there, but I try to go there are two days out the week where I try my best to go live and they're the longest streams that I have. But now, hey, guess what? Now we're at a point where like all the kids that live in my house, they're uh they're finally all old enough to go to school. So, who knows? Maybe there'll be more streams down the future. Speaking of kids, they're all fucking screaming right now. Jesus, and my dogs are going crazy. You did so good today during the playthrough. You were quiet, and now you're going to ruin it. <laughs> but yeah. So in the description is a link to my Twitter if you care. I make some jokes there, even though, you know, it's Twitter and people don't like jokes on Twitter. Nobody likes to laugh at Twitter. Nobody likes Twitter. It takes it, and they take it seriously. But you know what? If you want to see a joke here and there, you follow me on Twitter. I'm almost at 100 followers. That'd be cool, man. I'm at like, I was at 90, and then some jackass unfollowed me. What a piece of shit. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, uh, so it's linked to my Twitter, linked to my Twitch. There's other playthroughs you can watch. Uh, currently, while this is going up, Scooby Doo. Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights is going up with it. That was something I recorded back on Halloween, but because uh, I had some things going on during October, I wasn't able to upload it. So, hey, go watch some Scooby-Doo. You can watch me descend into madness there, because fucking... It's a good game, but Jesus fuck. <laughs> Jesus fuck the Scooby Snacks. But yeah, there's that. If you haven't subscribed... And, in, and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Leave a like. It helps the channel out. Please leave a like. It helps the channel out. And uh, in the comments, I guess, if you want, there's there's definitely going to be another time where I play another Disney game, another Disney Pixar game. So uh, in the comments below, why don't you why don't you just tell me? You know, tell me what you got, right? Tell me what you tell me what I should look at, right? There's some good Disney games out there. There's Toy Story 2. There's Chicken Little. Oh my god, there's Chicken Chicken Little. Such a good fucking game. Chicken Little. Right? There's some there's some like the old classic ones and shit like that. And there's some goofy ones. I have I'm literally right now staring at Epic Mickey 1 and 2 and I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at it, waiting like, should I do it now? Should I do it now? Also, I know this this intro uh, intro. This outro is going for a little long. But just as a reminder, you guys did fuck off <laughs> you guys Thanks did vote on the uh you guys did vote for the marathon of what i will be doing in the coming weeks i guess for a long time and pokemon won uh i recently finished a a playthrough of pokemon blue a test playthrough for pokemon blue so i can make sure i got everything in order see if it was all working well for uh for uh, the marathon right so Please do keep an eye out for that. And also, since we finish, since we kind of finished Corpse Party uh, Blood Drive, that's going to be uh, uploaded as well. So, yep, that's everything I have to say for now. And as always, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.